So Mike, where did the idea for the music and 78s come from? Um, we, uh, we, we run these classes at the Richard Jefferies Museum and uh, we, we found this little pile of records upstairs and we just, as we were sitting there going through them uh, one day, Hilda and myself, we just thought what a wonderful bunch of uh, titles and songs and then Hilda had this brainwave and we rushed into one of the classes that we were holding for creative writers and said, hey, how about we all write something about one of these records? And I just gave out the 78s and said, come on, let's do some writing that might change the way we normally write or inspire us to do something different. So is it a, a recent idea or is it the first year they've done this? Uh, this is the first year, but it, actually we, we enjoyed it so much and um, we thought it was a really good way of doing an anthology of creative writers because they all are so different, they all have so many different sort of ways of looking at things that it's quite hard to put together an anthology without some sort of uh, common theme. So how do you begin to teach such a varied amount, that varied people? What do you, to bring this out of them? I teach by presenting really good literature, so sh showing all kinds of pieces and um, I suppose helping uh, people find new ways of reading, writing, um, thinking of writing in a different way, I suppose. And Yeah, it's so exciting when you look at it that way. And so how long did they have to prepare the stories before the... Uh, uh, they, they, they had plenty of time, but um, because we weren't really in any hurry, but we did talk to the Literature Festival uh, uh, fairly early on and say, would they be up for letting us have an event? And when they said yes, that gave us a, a sort of good deadline to work towards. And um, writing and performing are two quite different skills. Have they uh, been practicing? And uh... No, that's, that's a really good point. I mean, one of the things we do at the classes, we do get people to read their own stuff and read other people's stuff out loud. So it's not only about uh, writing, it's about hearing what you say, which is a really important aspect of, 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 of the written word, because somehow when you speak things, you can sort of hear where it's getting a bit stuck in the mud uh, and other and it helps other people to get a better understanding and makes for a much sort of richer uh, exploration of the words. And not a lot of writers aren't necessarily the best at performing, how do you bring that side out as well? Well that's always tricky, I mean some people you saw tonight was the first time they've ever performed. Um, but it, I think performing is really good for everyone. So it's something I'm really keen to um, encourage people to do because it can really um, develop confidence skills and um, it, for me it's been transformative really because when I first started reading out loud I was so terrified so I always think back to how I felt when I first started to read my poems and I'd be shaking uh, but now I, I don't worry at all and I can you know go in front of any audience and I'm usually a little bit nervous still but I think that's a good thing. So we had both poetry and short stories a very varied kind of subject matter including your own yeah. uh, wonderful <laughs> poetry there yeah. um, so how does the course run in that aspect is it just sort of is it quite free with it, that kind of interpretation of the thing yes I mean the, the way the courses work is that uh, people uh, write whatever it is they want to write and they bring a piece or a poem or an excerpt from a piece of work uh, to the uh, the class and read it out or somebody else reads it out and then everybody sort of discusses it says what they like about it uh, you know try and point out things which they they maybe would do differently or or, or where they could see uh, things didn't work for them so it's a uh, uh, but it's a very very sort of informal and friendly uh, atmosphere and um, I think I think it's safe to say that everybody sort of becomes friends at the end of it as well and um Obviously this is a fairly new idea with the 78s. Is this your first time being involved with the Swimming Festival? I, I usually do a fair few events at the festival. I love the festival. I think it's brilliant. And I think it's great for Swindon. And it's wonderful to see people being involved and loving books and literature and people coming together. A good community in Swindon, I think. And so, um, obviously, as you say, it's a new thing doing the actual 78s. Is this your first time being involved with the festival or are you a frequent... No, I, I, have been, I have been involved in, in other, other ways before. Both Hilda and I are, are involved in various sort of arts and heritage things around Swindon. Um, in fact, we've got, we've got several events, or have had several events at this year's Lit Fest at the Richard Jefferies Museum, including a Children's Day this uh, Monday just gone, and, um, and then there's another event next week uh, called Hilda's Lounge.
Uh, you've got something coming up next week, is it Hilda's Lounge? Yeah, I've got the open mic on Sunday, uh-huh. uh, which is, um, we've got the, the, uh, the spoke coming from Bristol, that's a, a, a quartet of poets. Um, and people can bring poems and read out loud and enjoy themselves at the Sun Inn pub in Coatwater. Uh, oh, and I've got another event on Saturday, which is celebrating Swindon, actually. It's um, at, uh, at the Railway Museum. So, so keeping busy, then? Keeping very busy. <laughs>